Good evening, everyone. We thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Kevin Dorn. And I'm Lindsey Brown. We start with a developing story out of Montrose, west of the metro. The BCA is investigating a shooting involving a Wright County deputy. This happened this afternoon at the Dollar General in Montrose. That's about a 45-minute drive west of Minneapolis. Our Ben Henry's there live tonight to explain what led up to this deadly encounter. Ben? Kevin and Lindsay, eight hours later and investigators are still here. They are starting to wrap things up, though. The Wright County Sheriff's Office tells us after several commands and less than lethal methods, one of their deputies shot a man they say has outstanding warrants. And neighbors we spoke with say they heard several shots. It was real rapid. It was just really loud for me and it just startled me. Across the street from this Dollar General, John Pashusta was working in his garage. Then I saw the deputies, who I assumed were deputies, say, drop your weapon. Then I saw the suspect scuttle around a car by the entryway. Shots fired. Around 1 o'clock, the Wright County Sheriff's Office says deputies were trying to take a man into custody for outstanding warrants. Now his hand is still on the, on the pistol. Adding the suspect had a gun, pulled it out, and would not follow directions from deputies. The sheriff's office says a deputy shot the man after less than lethal measures failed. We could have been shopping together. We could have crossed each other's path. Dora Garza Salazar Rolfzen left the Dollar General just minutes before the shooting. I came here to do some shopping for my, my neighbor and I dropped her stuff off at her house. I pulled into my driveway and I hear gunfire like five or six shots. And my grandson, who's 22, comes out. He's outside, too, and we both hear it at the same time. Dozens of evidence markers line the parking lot. The Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension's crime scene truck arriving hours later to wrap up the crime scene. The sheriff's office did not say who that suspect is, what his outstanding warrants are for, and what condition he was in when he was sent to the hospital. The BCA told me tonight they are not sharing information at this point in the investigation. Live in Montrose, Ben Henry, Eyewitness News on 45. 